Hey buddy, Quad Nines here with a late night pack opening. Got uh, Journey to Nyx, which is pretty standard. It's the newest set out right now. But I've also got two packs of Innistrad. Uh, they keep having them at my local Walmart, so I'm going to keep getting them. They're about $5 a pack, which is a pretty good deal considering uh, what the boxes go for. They go for north of $200 right now, maybe even $300. haven't checked them in a while, but uh, they are expensive. So if I can get a you know chance to open up a full Snapcaster Liliana for 5 bucks, I'll take it. Um, I'm going to try the, the Journey pack first. And I still have yet to open the Johnny. That's kind of the the hope right now is to open the Johnny. Would be my my pick. Going to go through some comments here, not really name them off. There's some pretty good ones though. The Strive cards I found to be very very good in the draft. Just the Mana Sink, also a very good card. Uh, First uncommon is Rollick of Abandon. Uh, Sky Spear Cavalry, also a very good card. Forgeborn Oreads, the Pinging uh, Constellation card and the rare. Scourge of Fleets, which is the blue promo rare. So, yeah, nothing to get excited about there. Forest and some kind of tip card. Okay, so Journey and Nyx was not the great value, but. Maybe we can get some good stuff here in Innistrad. Still easily one of my favorite sets. Uh, still my favorite draft format, Triple Innistrad. I even liked uh, Dark Ascension Double Innistrad okay. But uh, getting the three packs where you could do something like go spider spawning or, or something like that was just really fun. So, flip through the commons. Traveler's Amulet, standard legal. Prey Upon, also standard legal I believe. I think it was in the core set. Uh, Demon Mel Halbrick is first uncommon. Mausoleum Guard. Abattoir Ghoul. And yeah, Divine Reckoning. A pretty cool wrath. You get to pick uh, one creature. And each side you get to pick one creature, you got to destroy all the rest. So if you got, you know, one guy out and they've got a whole swarm of little tokens, you come out way ahead. It also has flashback. So pretty cool card. Uh, let's see if we got anything on the tip. We've got a foil back here. We've got a Bloodline Keeper. Double rare. Maybe we've got a rare foil back here too. But Bloodline Keeper, one of the best flip cards for limited. Um, and just really cool card too. Vampire Lord that pumps out vampires. So, And Graveyard Shovel. Well, it's got a lot of flavor. We'll give it that. So yeah, so two rares in that pack. Pretty good stuff um, on the last pack. So uh, pretty happy with that. Like I said, the Divine Reckoning, it's a good EDH card. Any kind of, you know, Wrath, especially with Flashback. Yeah, it's good to see some play in, in the, you know, multiplayer formats. And the Bloodline Keeper is just a good card. Vampires tend to be decent to hold on to. Brimstone Volley. Do remember the one draft when I got five of those. It was quite fun, I'll just say that. Uh, first in common, Inquisitor's Flail. Guy's Catcher's Rig uh, was one good way to kill Bloodline Keeper before he flipped. You could do it in that way. Rage Thrower. There were decks built around this card. Just, you know, kill one thing, kill another thing. So it was uh, could definitely go off of that card. The rare is a Kessig Wolf Run. Um, this was probably the breakout card as soon as the set hit because... If you remember correctly, Primeval Titan and Ink Moth Nexus were both legal when this card came out. So the combo was you'd have a play Primeval Titan, search up Kessie Wolf Run, Ink Moth Nexus, and then the next turn you could basically pump your Ink Moth to almost just kill them, so it would infect. So it was pretty pretty cool combo. Got a zombie and a Delver of Secrets. Incidentally worth about a buck, I think. Not buy list, but you know, you see them selling for a dollar sometimes in, in stores and whatnot. So, um, like I said, trying to work on the setup, trying to talk a little louder. Hope everybody can hear me. And of course you can see my sweet mat I'm quite uh, quite happy with. But uh, let me know what you think about the pulls down below. And uh, thanks for watching.